let's talk about as long as something has a seed, you can get a plant. And of course, this nice, beautiful bell pepper we get from the grocery store. I think they cost too much. I think I can grow it. So what I did was I, when I cut open my bell pepper, um, I had seeds inside and I took those seeds. Normally we just throw them in the trash can. I had these sitting in a damp paper towel. You can see them germinating. You can see them. Can you see that there? They're starting to germinate. So instead of spending three to four dollars for a nice bell pepper plant, which will supply me all year, I've decided to do my own. So this is gonna be quick and easy. My good old plastic cup. And of course I have my potting soil in here. I'm going to get the viable seeds, the ones that have germinated, and I'm going to place this in the soil. So I have to do a little fishing expedition here. So I'm going to take my time and find all the seeds that have sprouted. That's two, three, four. There's no reason why to spend your money for food that you can grow easily, simply. So I only had four that germinated. Okay, sucky. So that's not the end of my world. We're just going to tamp this off, put us probably about a quarter of an inch so that they can go ahead and germinate some more, um, get their legs. And then I'll show you probably in a couple of weeks what this looked like. Um, but what I'm going to do again is I have another bell pepper. And of course, we're gonna cut this open. Now, some of these plants are GMO and when they're GMO they deliberately try to ensure that these seeds will not germinate so you cannot recre recreate them but with a little patience and persistence you can get these seeds to germinate there's plenty of seeds all you need is three or four plants to germinate and lots of seeds so we're going to try this again so I can get some more plants but I'm just gonna simply wrap this up in a damp, clean, not this one, in a damp paper towel. You don't want it over wet. I always stick it in a Ziploc bag and I keep it warm. So um, this time of the year, I don't open up my sunroom. I allow it to be a little warm in here so that I can protect my, my germinating plants. And of course, as you can see, I'm also, I have other plants in here that I have going. And the same principle apply, and I'm messing up the camera. The same principle apply when you want to start a plant. You don't want to expose it to the sun. You want to keep it protected. Um, you want to some, I have to root off in water, but you want to keep everything protected um, in a warm place without direct sunlight. I have a sunscreen film over the the window so of course I get sun but I don't get the damaging rays but again instead of spending money for a bell pepper you have free seeds don't cost you any money and once you learn how to germinate your food then you can not have to buy things from the um, the grocery store and you have enough to share with your friends and neighbors so again we're germinating bell peppers from the actual bell peppers from the seeds that are inside. Simple and easy.